Hey, my people, Orange TV don't come again. No. It has been a tough time for Nollywood actress Deborah Shokoya, better known as Debbie Shokoya, as she loses her pregnancy. Hey, my people, it has not been easy for her. But before I go bring it to a con given, I go like go on short break. Make gonna sit tight and watch it the end. Welcome to Orange TV, a platform where we keep you updated on trending latest matters happening in the world of social media. So if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, turn the notification bell to get notified. When next we drop a new video and to all our amazing subscribers thank you so much for your support we do not take this for granted and to all our viewers feel relaxed enjoy and stay tuned come back my people it has been a really really tough time for nollywood actress deborah shokoya as she loses her pregnancy she shared an emotional video on her instagram page where she tearfully recounted how she lost her pregnancy at eight months that everyone knew she was pregnant and she had even traveled out expecting to return with her child but unfortunately things happened and she had experienced a pregnancy loss so now she's begging for people not to bash her because she sacrificed and she went through a lot for her unborn child only for her to lose the pregnancy my people it has not been easy for her because she bonded with her child so well before the loss. No one deserves to experience such pain. I pray God is her pain. This is way too much for her a whole eight months. Oh God. May God heal her heart. There's no greater pain in this world than the pain of a mother losing her baby. She can cry all she wants. Yes, she's expected to grieve. Just like, you know, she said she's still a mother and things happen for so many reasons although no child can replace the lost one but god will bless you with another one i can recall when tony abraham faced a similar experience she believed to be pregnant last year and she confirmed that she was indeed pregnant however the baby didn't survive as she lost the baby following the loss of her baby she revealed that she wanted to have one or two kids and she would be done but she spoke about how she was body shame after getting bloated from the loss ah the way people they drag Debbie about pregnancy and marriage. Hmm. She was really tried. I pray God gives her the happiness she deserves. I wonder how some persons will be trolling this kind of people. Just imagine the pain she's going through. Many things happen to them behind closed doors and they can't show us all. It is where well with Debbie. God will comfort her. It is no longer news that Debbie Shokoya is happily married. The Yoruba movie star got the shock of her life when her now husband proposed to her in February. Going down on his knees to propose to her on Valentine's Day, Debbie Shokoya, who had the thought of, you know, spending her day with her partner, not knowing that Omo, the guy had something else up his sleeve. So the couple now went on to tie the knot at a low-key ceremony with rumors making around that she was already pregnant. It was also alleged that Debbie had got married to a married man. For that allegation, the movie star hasn't directly addressed it yet. No woman deserves this, honestly, and she don't owe anyone explanation or any reason to know. May God console her and replenish her loss to happiness and joy. So guys, let's take a look at the video. But after the video, I would like you to hit the comment section. Let us know your thoughts, contributions, opinion in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. And if this is your first time of watching my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and also turn the notification bell to get notified when next we drop a new video. See you guys next time to like come here again. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Orange TV. Thank you for watching. Bye. You know, was it moving and that way? Go. And I, I, I had to be induced to go into labor. And I gave birth to my child. And I carried my child. So you know what that means? You know what it means? That I carried my child. That child that I've been waiting to see. That I've been waiting to see that I sacrificed everything for. Everything for. And then I came I, I did not come back with my child. I went through so much. I've been going through so much for over a month. But I chose to come out and, and still pause and still have like nothing is wrong. Even people very close to me. And to those people very, very close to me that, 
you know, it, I don't want to make drama out of my personal life. But for this, just because I don't want anyone going around talking about it like it's a secret, like it's a news or something, that is why I would prefer to say it myself. Okay, let me just give a brief about what happened because I know some people would, you know, come up with different stuff, say different things. But please be careful about what you're going to say. Words are sensitive, especially when it comes to this map. I'm a mother. I carried my child for eight months. I sacrificed a lot for my child. I know what I went through. <laughs> I traveled with the joy of God. It's expected that it should have known before now. I'm sorry that I didn't say it to you. And that was because I want to grieve my way. I just wanted to, I just wanted to, my whole way. Being back with my child, but God understands, right? And like my family said, I should continue to give glory to him, which I choose to. So please, it is not easy. I carried my child for eight months. I bonded with my child. And I lost my child. Please don't tell me to the spiritual or whatever. Because I know some people can be that. I'm, I'm not sorry to use that word. Do not tell me to spiritual or whatever. Do not tell me to what you want to assume. It is my story. Huh? So... I, I was rushed to the emergency and we, you know, the child wasn't breathing anymore. I would like to say my story myself. I would like to tell my story myself. That is why I'm making this video right now. I never announced it that I was pregnant or I was expecting all well and good. Almost everyone knows Debbie Shokoya is expecting. She's pregnant, she's expecting. And but all glory to God. I lost my child. And uh, I lost my child. Eight months. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't have come out to make this video because I'm, I'm not um, that person that wants to, you know, put our personal life out there or want to make news about herself aside her professional life out there. That is why whenever anything is said, I would just rather keep quiet because...